What's going on, you guys? Survival Islander is back in with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and Roblox group. Links for those will be in the description. So um, we're back again, and I haven't done a video. We haven't done a video for this. We only did like one or two videos, but we're back. I'm back again with this because I wanted to explain the future of the updates for this game because it's slowly starting to come back. Um, and I wanted to talk about how not only we're we getting player stations, but what's actually going to be included with said player stations. Because as um, as it was hinted, there were more things in the PlayStation that um, demo video that we're not wanting to give out, and it's clearly obvious what that's going to be. So why don't I get right in and explain all that's going to come with that said player station in future updates? Okay, so we all know that the recent ship update that we ever got, the last one, besides all the new uh, new features of how um, how ships kind of look really cool now. A more detailed update was the fact that we had destroyer class ships. That's definitely not the end of it. We all know what's coming next, and it's, that's correct. We're getting cruisers. But obviously, cruisers will most likely not come in the way of we're going to be docking right there. Okay? Odds are you'll need a player station to be able to do said cruisers. And for those that do not are first hearing about this game by watching this video, I will go and demonstrate that this is a destroyer class ship. Um, and here is a cruiser. Here is the size comparison of me as a destroyer class up against a cruiser class. Now, cruisers and destroyers are in the class of subcapital subcapital and everything beyond um let's see when you go to crew on uh, when you go to battle cruiser battleship dreadnought that is your capital class these two are subcapital and most likely i saw um with an image that i can try to bring up here soon um that there will be small hangers uh available within the um player stations and as you've already known that when a battleship is formed they are or made they are constructed within a large hangar odds are the small hangar will be used to construct this thing so first of all you'll need a player station to construct it and odds are it'll probably be two to three times the material required to make a destroyer so most destroyers average at about like 17 uh, to 20 Vexium, except for Yukons, which are about like 25. But the point is, if we're either doubling or tripling that, so you're looking at maybe 40 to 60 Vexium, it's possible it might even go to 100 just to make one of these things. I mean, look at the difference. First of all, then we'd be getting large turrets. Um, oh, and the uh, the name of this, this one here, uh, what was it? That was uh, the Subjugator. This is a Subjugator. I'm in a Conciliator. The next one up is Subjugator. Player stations will be, um, water will definitely be like a thing, so start gathering a bunch of, like, still mine for comments and just get your water going, because the price of Vexium and water will go up as soon as player stations are available, so go ahead and get that now while everything's at an all-time low. I mean, I'm getting Vexium right now. Just stocking up, getting that for about, like, uh, 3,000. Remember when it used to be, like, seven to 10,000 being sold in shops? So why don't we go ahead and get to the point? Now, as you can see, this is the typical player station. This is what's going to be coming out in early this year of 2022, most likely either between now and March, because that would be considered early. Um, and there will be actually a few new lines of ships as well. Wrong, wrong thing. So we have the Mandator, Righ um, Righteous, and Megalodon. So actually, these are the names of the Dreadnought classes as well. So when you have, when we eventually at some point have Dreadnought class ships, which I will show you the size comparison here soon. That will be the name of the Cavani, the, uh, uh, no, oh my God, I'm just, no, uh, the Folklorian, whatever, and, uh, the, the Federation, I just, I couldn't think of Federation. Point is, these are the names of your Dreadnoughts. Anyways, so then there will be another line, um, that will also be owned by each one. You have Executioner, Triumphant, uh, uh, Triumvirate, whatever, I hate that word, and Makara, so. Then you'll have actually just a few more things. Um, I this is this is the dreadnought. Um, this is the dreadnought that I will be showing you an image of in size comparison to battleships, and you've all seen what battleships do. And I don't think anybody's ever killed or destroyed a battleship before. I've seen a video of some people just trying to destroy them with a bunch of frigates, but that didn't work. 
frigates, frigate, whatever. Point being, let's scroll all the way up. Since I'm with the Cavani, I'm just going to go on and talk about the Mandator line, just to basically give an example. Scroll, 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 Mandator. So we first of all, you have your basics. Um, I don't remember seeing a toucan. Some of these are not made, some of these are. What should have been added here was the macaw. I believe macaw was what should have been toucan, but then you had parrot. Parrot was the typical fighter, and then that should have been replaced here, and that should have put in with um, macaw. So we were also going to have bombers. So we have fighter, interceptor, parrot was the interceptor. So this should actually be called macaw. Uh, but uh, and then you have your edict, which is your corvette, your adjudicator, which is your frigate. Um, you have I have my consolidator, which is your destroyer class, and then you have your subjugator, which will be that uh, that cruiser class, so that that sub capital ship. Then you're going to have your arbiter, which is your battle cruiser. Then you have your battleship, which is called the conqueror. Now the mandator is the dreadnought class. Now if you want to know what a dreadnought is, actually the dreadnought is um, if you've ever seen Star Wars and you know. You've seen the Super Star Destroyer. That is the only Dreadnought to ever exist in Star Wars. That is a Dreadnought class. Um, Battleship would actually be considered a Star Destroyer. So Star Destroyer is Battleship, and Dreadnought is Super Star Destroyer. Yeah, take that into comparison. So back to, um, you have your, the new lines are coming out. You have Excalibur, Ma, uh, is it uh, Majolner? I feel like it's a French word I can't pronounce. Hellbent, Calamity, Sanctity, Divinity, um, Cthulhu, oh god, that just sounds like destruction, Savannah, and then some extra ones that might be put in later. So, if we just, so like I said, I was just going to show you that, which I kind of already read off that line, then we're eventually going to be moving on from player stations to landing on planets. You know, this is why I don't like voxel terrain, this just looks really stupid. If that uh, This is not what I thought planets were going to be. Trust me, I really thought they were going to be a little bit more whatever. I mean, that's just a basis to go to picture off of. But Now, look, this is your, um, these are your cruisers right here. And it's time, if I can just zoom in. Here was me as my uh, consolidator. Here is your cruiser. Here is your battle cruiser. Here is your battleship. So we're going from subjugator to mandator. Now you can see the different size comparison. These things are freaking massive. You got your sunfish and all the way up to megalodon, etc. Um, see your justice all the way up to what was that one called? I never really cared for the federation line. Um, to your righteous. Wow, I should have known that because I literally read that. I kept saying it. So anyways, so now you saw your battleship. Now why don't we get into what a dreadnought is? Oh, sorry, top view. Let me zoom out. Here are your typical battleships that we have all seen. The battleships do exist, but as NPCs, these don't exist yet. You want to know what this is? This is a dreadnought class. And that is what we call the Excalibur of the Excalibur line that will be coming in new at some point. That is Excalibur. Look at the size of that thing. This is a battleship, for crying out loud. You've seen what battleships are. I mean, I, I could pull up a video, but uh, uh, or I could have found one, but they spawn randomly in, like, wild systems sometimes, or not even wild, in contested systems, and now we're going to go find one. Point being, tiny, tiny little destroyer class, which is what we have now, leading up to this freaking thing. I mean, just, if anybody ever gets one of these, it's... Game over. You, you're never destroying a Dreadnought class. Only a Dreadnought or a bunch of battleships could destroy a Dreadnought. We're talking Star Destroyer versus Super Star Destroyer. I mean, come on. Um, now, I don't know what cannons we got on these things, but here we're going to have lar a bunch of large cannons, uh, large turrets, etc. Um, but I'm imagining that these get to... Most likely, they'll be in a class of their own. These will be in a class of their own style turrets and cannons and kinetics and all that stuff. And that's basically all we're going to talk about today. So this is what the future of the game will look like. And if anybody, if we get to this point, as soon as somebody has one of these, it's over. That person wins. They're, they're not, that, that thing's not getting destroyed. Now, I don't know how it's going to get repaired. I'm a, I don't, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, just, just imagine. Um, now, if, uh, 
I, I can't imagine how much Coralite it's going to be. It's probably going to be like a million Coralite just to probably produce this thing. But anyways, that is all for this short little video. I hope you have understanding just how great this game is getting into and all that. And this is what we're leading up to. Questions, comments, concerns, post down in the comments below. Give us a like and a sub and we will see you all again in our next posted videos.